Hey everyone, I'm Ace of Clay and welcome to another sculpting video. If you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture. Today we are finally going back into the mutant universe. I've received so many requests from all of you, whether it's emails, comments, DMs, you name it. So many of you have wanted me to come back to the mutant universe and I am doing that today with the first mutant of the year. Today, you get to meet the Collectress. When I approached the design of this mutant, I really wanted her to be completely different than the other ones. I still, of course, wanted her to be humanoid, but I wanted her to have a really twisted, weird backstory. So you're gonna hear all about her throughout this entire video. So make sure you watch the whole thing so you don't miss any details. And then I just wanna take a second to show you my new background. Do you like it? A little different, you know, but finally I am not standing in front of a closet. And then before we get started, the seamstress plush is back. I only have a couple of these left now. If you missed her the first time around, she is available right now at aceofclay.com. I am signing these, so if you want to get her, you got to grab her now because once she is gone, she is gone forever. Yeah, if you want her, make sure to go to aceofclay.com, link in the description box below. And then if you enjoy my content, be sure to hit that like button because it does way more than you think. That quick little one second click tells the YouTube algorithm that you like this video and helps it reach a broader audience, which is why I'm able to make new videos for you every week. So if you got a second, hit that like button. And now without further ado, let's meet the Collectress. In the depths of the mutant universe, there lurks a fearsome creature known as the Collectrix, an alluring female humanoid mutant she was a sight to behold. Long, skinny arms with hands that boasted long, bony fingers reached out from beneath the darkness of her flowing black dress that swirls about as she moves, adding to her mysterious aura. Her hair hangs straight, covering the disfigurement on her face, her lips blood red. But the Collectrix was not a creature to be admired or desired. She was dangerous. She targeted her victims with precision, seeking to steal the pieces of their hearts. With every piece she stole, she became stronger, and her once alluring appearance slowly transformed into something far more sinister. Piece by piece, her body changes with every attack. No one had ever seen the Collectrix in person, except for those unfortunate souls who had fallen victim to her. She attacked her victims in their subconscious, coming at them like a nightmare that left them powerless to fight back. When she took a piece of their heart, they would become weaker and weaker, losing the will to live until they were nothing but shells of their former selves.
During her attack at any time of day, the victim would go into a trance-like state and their eyes would roll back into their heads and shoot static beams of white light into the distance. They were paralyzed during the process, with no ability to fight back. They could see the collectress in their minds, witness to her evil acts as she stole pieces of their hearts. Thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Mental health is so important. I know it is a regular struggle for me and it is especially important when it comes to being a content creator and having to make a new sculpture every week for the entire world to see. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it is 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 25,000 licensed, experienced therapists that can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's through text, chat, video, or phone call. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. If your therapist isn't the right fit for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality that you expect from in-office therapy. But with a therapist that is custom picked for you, more scheduling flexibility, and at a more affordable price. If all of this sounds good and you're ready to start taking steps to better your mental health, head on over to betterhelp.com slash aceofclay. That's better H-E-L-P and you will save 10% on your first month. I've got them linked below for you in the description box. Thanks again BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Now back to our sculpture. Those who are kind, with big hearts, were her most delicious prey, for there was more for her to take. But these victims were difficult for her to get, because to some extent, their goodness would deflect her evil, keeping her at bay. In the event that she did attack someone with a big heart, she would lose some of her power, in exchange for more. Electrix reveled in the destruction of those who were pure of heart, taking pleasure in the pain she inflicted. To her, there was no greater satisfaction than to see a kind soul reduced to nothing. The Collectrix could strike at any time of day, and as she grew stronger, she became more aggressive, striking more frequently to satisfy her hunger for power and strength. She was the strongest mutant in the universe, and the only one respected and feared by other mutants. Some say she is the entity's favorite.
addition to her ability to attack the subconscious, she was a creature of the sky. Her long arms outstretched, she was a sight to behold. Her long, flowing black dress billowing behind her as she flew effortlessly through the clouds. Her long fingers spread wide, and with every thrust of her body, she gained speed and height. She was in her element up there, high above the world below, free to do as she pleased. So the Collectrix roamed the universe, searching for victims to feed her power. Her allure was a trap, and her touch was deadly. Her victims could only hope that they would never fall prey to her, for once they did, they would never be the same again. To be continued. she is done the collectress is complete let me know what you think of her in the comments to be back in the mutant universe. I like her. I think she's very different than the other mutants and I hope all of you like her as well. So let me know what you think of her in the comments and as always thank you so much for watching and being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ace of Clay and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.